all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Schooner while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, shout out to Kyler Murray. Shout out to Kyler Murray. I, I can't, I can't hate. Shout out to Kyler Murray. I can't hate. I can't hate. I told y'all. <sighs> Listen, I told y'all. When it's time for me to show love, I show love. Okay. I'm not gonna come in this channel. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you. You come to you come to my channel. I promise you, I never tell a lie, and I can't tell a lie. As good as that catch was, that was a perfect throw. For as good as that catch was, and I'm going to be honest with you, that might be the greatest catch I've ever seen besides Odell's one-handed catch. Kyler Murray threw a perfect ball, bro. I can't stunt. The dude Kyler Murray ran away. He evaded a sack. He threw the ball off one foot. It kind of reminded me of Aaron Rodgers' throw versus... uh. The Cardinals in the playoff game. Remember when Aaron Rodgers threw that ball off his back foot to Jeff Janis in that playoff game like five, six years ago? So nah, man. Shout out to Shout out to Kyler Murray, aka K1, aka Stort Little. Shout out to little Stort Little Kyler Murray, man. That was a dope play. Can't even lie. I got like I told y'all. When I, when I gotta give credit, I give credit. Not gonna hate on it. I'm not going to downplay it. I ain't going to discourage it. That was a beautiful play. That's the play of the year. I don't think we're going to see a play all year that's going to be better than what Kyler Murray just did. Straight up and down. So, shout out to him. Now, as far as DeAndre Hopkins goes, he's the best receiver in football. In football. It's done. There's nothing else to talk about. That catch right there just elevated to DeAndre Hopkins to being the best receiver in football. I still love Julio Jones, but bro, DeAndre Hopkins is the man. All right, DeAndre Hopkins is the man, bro. Like you gotta understand, like Julio's had Matt Ryan for his whole career. You know what I'm saying? This dude, Michael Thomas, had Drew Brees his whole career. I don't watch DeAndre Hopkins put these numbers up with bum quarterback what's what's a boy name out there in houston tom savage he had tom savage and uh matt shop mr pick six matt shop yeah man shout out to deandre hopkins for going through the struggle man so then he gets the you know the boy uh sean watson who's a bum about it. i don't want to hear nothing about the sean watson this dude sean watson is, is officially out the top 10 he is no longer an elite quarterback I don't want to even hear you even remember he, 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 Whoever brings up Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson in the same sentence should be shot. Matter of fact, they should be shot twice. All right, for real. Like, it's disrespectful at this point. But anyway, this DeAndre Hawkins is the best wide receiver in football. It's not even close. All right, he's better than Julio. He's better than Michael Thomas. The best wide receiver in the league is in Arizona. Shout out to my guy, DeAndre Hopkins. Now, as far as the... um. The three dollar bills go. <laughs> hey yo, what happened? Hey Bills fans, what happened? I just want to know. Like, I, I want to hear from you. Well, what happened? See, cause y'all keep telling me that Tre'Davious White was better than Stephen Gilmore. I had to hear all year. Oh, so, Trey White is the best corner in football. Trey White is the best corner in football. He's better than Stephen Gilmore. I, I will bet you every penny of my YouTube check. Stephen Gilmore and Devin McCourtney are not getting caught on in the back of the end zone for the game like that. I promise you that. I promise you. I will bet you every penny of my YouTube check from all three channels that there's no way Stephen Gilmore getting that Hail Mary caught on him for the game like that. It would never happen. That's what happens when you get best corner like 5'9". All right, I'm not trying to hear it. This, the, the whole Tredavious White is it, done. It, it's nothing to talk about. It's over. He's not the best corner in the league. 
He ain't even top 10 no more. Anytime you let some, anytime you let a receiver catch a ball on you like that for the game, you get knocked out of whatever top 5, top 10, top 20, whatever list that you were supposed to be in, however positive things people said about you, a null and void. You're trash. You belong in a dumpster. You should be taken out with everything else in, in, in that's that. I ain't got nothing else to say. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, hey, he want Jalen Ramsey money. He wants Stephen Gilmore money, but he can't defend a Hail Mary? Buffalo, that, that's all you got? That's the best player on your team. He just got called on for the game. Man. Josh Allen, you stink. Josh Allen always stinks. He, nah, I'm not even in the mood. Josh Allen turning the ball over is the reason the Cardinals came back in the game in the first play. Devin Singletary, you stink too. Stephon Diggs, you all right. And, and, and I ain't got nothing else to say about the Bills. I told y'all y'all fake. That's why I call y'all the $3 Bills because you're not real. Alright, y'all are a mirage in the desert. I keep trying to tell y'all they are a mirage. They're not real, they're fake. Don't go drink them. You drinking sand. You're not drinking a pina colada. Alright, this ain't this, this, this is not real. This is a figment of your imagination. Anything good about the Buffalo Bills is, is fake news. Fake news. They should have lost to the Patriots. They should have lost to the Rams. Should have lost to the Dolphins. This team is not. They don't deserve to be seven and three. They every bit as fake as last year's Green Bay Packers. You know, every year this is there's a fake team in the league every year that win games for no reason. And this year's the Buffalo Bills. They won't win a playoff game if they make the playoffs because the the Patriots ain't done yet. The Patriots is about to go on the run. They're probably about to beat Baltimore in a few minutes. I'm done with the Bills. They're fake. They're phony. I ain't for real. They fake it in porn star tits. That's what they are to me. They they are porn star tits. That's what they are. The Buffalo Bills are porn star tits. They're big, they're inflated, and they're fake. This is not that episode of Seinfeld. They're not real and they're not spectacular. <laughs> I love it. I was gonna win either way. I was gonna win either way. I was even going. I was even going dog Kyler Murray, or I was gonna dog Josh Allen. One way or the other, I was gonna take me a victory lap after this game. I couldn't lose. It was a win-win. And speaking of Josh Allen, I will give him credit for this. He did give me 29 fantasy points. So shout out to Josh Allen for that. I'll be nice. You know, I'll be nice. He did give me 29 fantasy points, which is good enough to beat Jagginoff, uh, who was who was kind enough to join me for my Saints versus a uh, 49 live stream. Shout out to Jagginoff. I put hands on him. He thought he was gonna win, but he didn't stand a chance. It is what it is. My team is that good. But you know, hey, somebody gotta lose, man. I tell people all the time, like, it's no shame in losing when you run into me. Nah, it's no shame. Losing to me is like. You know, losing to Mike Tyson in the 80s or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <sighs> but I ain't got nothing else to say. Y'all know what to do. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rock it with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I'll prove this message.